for us to find the area enclosed between the cubic and the x-axis. So this blue area and this red area. I have to show detailed reasoning so we can't just put it in our calculator. Let's find where the roots are. So where the graph crosses the x-axis. We can factorize out an x. Get x squared minus 4. Now this is a difference of two squares. We're going to get x, x plus 2, x minus 2. So I'm going to get minus 2, 0, and 2 here from these roots. Let's work out the red area. So it's going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of factor the expanded form x cubed minus 4x. Right, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power. Same over here. It's going to be a quarter times 16 minus 2 times 4. I'm expecting to get a negative, by the way, because it's below the axis. And we get 4 minus 8, so minus 4. So the area is going to equal 4. Now we can make an argument that the blue area is also going to equal 4. We don't actually have to do the integral. Of course, you can if you want to, but look at the symmetry going on here. We've got 0, and then we've got like the same roots, just a minus in front of it on the left. And therefore, the total area is going to be 8. Now, if you want me to convince you of that a little bit more, I will do. We can say that f of x is x cubed minus 4x. Let's find out what f of minus x is. It's going to be minus x cubed minus 4 times minus x, which is minus x cubed plus 4x. Let's take a minus out. So actually, I've just shown that f of minus x is minus f of x. We don't go into detail on this in A level, actually, but this means it's an odd function if f of x is equal to minus f of x. But in our terms, it just means that whatever value you have, say um, 0 0.5, you're going to get the negative at minus 0 0.5. So it must be that the areas are the same when I, when I do my integral. And it's, it's worth bearing in mind, you know, sometimes you'll get functions that uh, maybe they look like, I don't know, Maybe we're asked to find this sort of area uh, enclosed here. Now you can just, if this is like an even function and it looks the same either side, but there's a reflection in the y-axis, then you can just find this and then double it to find the whole thing. So just bear it in mind for future. If you don't see it and you do the integral from minus 2 to 0, absolutely fine. You should get an area of 4 as well. But overall, we've got our answer of 8.